टाइम लॉन्ग टाइम इन द सेंस बीच में जो आ रहे थे दे वर नॉट द प्रॉपर ब्लॉग्स दे वर जस्ट काइंड ऑफ टाइम फिलर्स और स्टॉप गैप ब्लॉग्स और वीडियोज टूडे इज अ प्रॉपर ब्लॉग द साइकिल As to showing you what all stuffs I have on my cycle, what's the cycle model, what's the price, like everything that you need to know about my cycle, and obviously sensible modifications. So I did this thing on my motorcycles as well, purposeful modification that will help you and not. These are not show off modifications, and at the same time, not very expensive either. Uh, sorry about the environmental noise because I don't have any better place to vlog at the moment. Uh, so this is a council. Okay, a lot of you had uh, the very basic question: which model is this, and what is the price of this bike? So let's answer that question first. This, as you can see, is a cross, and the exact model is Maximus Pro. If you have not uh, seen my cinematic vlog on this bike, uh, this is a single speed, so this does not have any added frills or anything like that. So it's a single speed normal bike. Uh, okay, now coming to the modifications done on the bike. First, I have uh, not done too much of modifications because there's not much room of doing any modifications. Uh, like I'm, as I said already, not far too much modifications, sensible modifications. So uh, the first thing that I got installed on the bike uh, was a water bottle carrier, which I guess every biker, every cyclist, biker as in the US way of saying bike, not the motorcycle. So every cyclist. Uh, would do and uh, this is just a local stuff it costed me 100 bucks the bottle holder and uh, what else did i get from there we get okay i got a cycle pump which is again a very basic pump which again costs around 150 bucks and let's go to and go to the bike and see what all modifications i've done and all these things that i'm telling you like whichever i have bought online it will be linked below in the description in case you are interested you can definitely go out and buy from those links i have this particular bag which is an okayish bag i would say like uh, it does not have much of capacity and this screen that you see here which is the which is supposed to be a screen for your mobile phone it will not house anything more than a 5 inch so if your phone is big which in this these days most of the phones are of 5 and a half inch and more so it won't fit in that and the quality is also not good because yesterday only i broke this chain as you can see it just came off and the capacity let me open it it's not that good i mean you can keep stuffs like i have put this multi tool and this is also something which i got from amazon you can also check this one this is a very handy tool it's got a lot of stuff to it and uh, i keep this one i keep my wallet i keep the gopro sometimes the shades uh, that i use some spare mounts and some chewing gums and all that stuff that i keep here okay the next thing that you see on this side of it are the tail lights i forgot the brand of this one but they are pretty good and they just come on like this so you have different i guess four different modes this is the most battery consuming one because it will constantly uh, remain on constantly so this is the one that i use most of the times and long press switches it off okay i got a cable lock this i guess nothing to highlight about this every cyclist gets one in india at least ah uh, next up gopro mounts yes of course the gopro mount has to be there because being a vlogger i like love to capture different angles so this is the one that you have seen in case you have not you can check the other cycle vlogs which are there already and uh, some stickers gopro stickers yes always uh, they are not the original gopro stickers they are aftermarket i made it from a local sticker shop these are the ones which are very important so these are the ones that you get from a lot of websites i got them from 100 kmph 
uh, this is uh, the blood group sticker that they sell uh, I have cut it I have put this part here and the other part is on my helmet which I will show you it's actually in the back of the helmet so I will take off the helmet and throw in some shots of uh, this, uh, the sticker the other part of the blood group sticker At the front, uh, there is no modification as such done in the wheel area like these are the normal disc brakes and this is not even some popular brand, this is something like Spran... Sprandom? Sprandom? I don't know which brand is this but it does the job decently. Now coming to the most important part, the handlebar. This is where maximum modifications are done. So the stock grips are not this one the stock grips are these ones so these are the stock grips that came with the bike these are good offer good grip but then again when you're like riding for long so that's when you will feel some fatigue in your palm area like this part of the area of your palm so that is when these things come handy because here your palm is actually getting ample support so it becomes very comfortable for riding and uh, so it again these things I got offline from a local market but then again I believe these we will get online as well okay lights most importantly now this deserves special attention because uh, I'll have to elaborate it otherwise it will get complicated for you so these are the first set of lights that I've got uh, these I believe I got it from Flipkart or Amazon I forgot and uh, it does the job but then again they are not very powerful in the sense that uh, when I was testing them in the dark they were pretty bad I mean it failed to illuminate this was a headlight and the horn combo this particular mode is the one that I use for this light that's why it's still staying on the uh, bike otherwise there is no function for this headlight and it comes with this horn which is a very funny one uh, you guys have heard this these are the lights which are good which I got from a local market like in Delhi there is a place called Jandewala cycle market which is basically a wholesale market for cycles and cycle related accessories and uh, these lights uh, this costed me around 550 and I checked on Amazon this cost almost the same I believe 9 or 10 rupees more on Amazon ok now that the tractor has gone let me just uh, switch on the light so this has this has got zoom feature so so see this rotates and this zooms in and out the light throw which is a very handy feature and these two are not indicators these are basically these will work as fog lamps so let's switch on so as you can see if I do a side by side comparison so this is what you get here and this is what you get here it's a lot more brighter and uh, same it has got modes so if you press this one as you can see the lights come on like this so these are this should be very good during the winters upcoming winters when you're riding through the fog or rainy season also next up you have uh, I believe this is the low beam or I don't know whether this is the high beam or not and this is the strobe which is for extreme situations now uh, there is not everything good about this one there is one major drawback which I will share with you uh, I'll have to open this particular light and then show you first of all these rubber mounts they are very poor very, very flimsy very bad very poor quality now yesterday when I was doing the maiden ride of this one so I was just uh, going on some uh, bad roads uh, it was not even proper trail or off-road it was just some potholes just like that and uh, it was connected with this stock mount now what you see in this particular clip is not the stock form I'll tell you the change here so what happened is this like this thing remained on the bike and the entire light went off the bike and fell on the road so thankfully no damage happened the light is still functioning and all but 
the thing is that now this, now this metal washer that you see inside that is not a part of the package so it comes with a very flimsy and very delicate plastic uh, thing uh, plastic washer kind of a stuff uh, and uh, when I was tightening it with the slightest of the pressure uh, it just developed a crack so I believe that's what resulted in the fall yesterday so I replaced it with a metal washer which I had in my stock so that's the story of this light now I've got another light yes I've got another light now before I show you the other light I really like the mounting system of this particular light because it is a lot more firm compared to these rubber ones that are there on this one and the other one that I just showed and uh, this one has a more firm mount though it's not very good plastic but it's still better than what we have on the other two and uh, it slides in and this is supposed to be a locking mechanism but I have my own doubts so I will be prop most probably using some extra rubber bands or maybe some zip ties or like that so this is the other one now this is most probably the brightest of the lot this is uh, 800 lumens uh, this is what I got from Flipkart you will get it from a lot of websites and uh, again this is extremely bright and I'll just switch it on so right off the bat you can see it's very bright uh, this is the first mode I believe this is the high beam this is the low beam uh, this flickering that is happening because of the frame difference in the shooting and the light so this is something te technical so at the moment if I see by the naked eye the light is steady on a low beam this is the emergency or the SOS or strobe whatever you want to call it this is how it does and this is the last one this is actually a very dim I thought it's soft but it's actually very dim it's a yellow light that shows and then it goes off so let me show you how this particular light uh, gets uh, out so you just have to press this particular button at the back and then slide it out there's a sliding mechanism outside so this is the one that slides in okay these are also uh, the mods uh, part of the modification that i've done as you can see it's written as gel and because the stock seats are not very comfortable of any bike uh, so you need the gel seats or the gel pants the gel shorts were uh, very expensive for my budget uh, so I got this one and uh, this is serving the purpose beautifully I don't uh, feel any discomfort on my bum so my bum and my other stuffs which you guys know what I'm referring to rests beautifully on this area and no pain the seat heist, yes, it's a bit on the higher side, and that's how I like it. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all about my bike, the accessories, the mods, the purposeful mods and everything that I've done on uh, my bike. And so don't forget about the Instagram because all these small updates I keep sharing on my Instagrams. So if you're not connected with me on my Instagram, there are two profiles that I have, it will be linked below. Okay, so this is a Rock Rider ST100 or something like that is the helmet and I have got some stickers as you can see these are the safety stickers, I had them in stock reflective stickers, again you will get it on Amazon so these are the pair of gloves that I am using uh, these are again as you can see with the camera pick up it's the Rock Rider so it's uh, bought from Decathlon, it costed me around $7.99 or $8.99 you will get a lot of color options depending on the stock availability Good comfortable gloves, provides good amount of grip and uh, ventilated as well and comfortable gloves, recommended. The last bit of accessory which I have is this one which is a belt pouch and this is uh, what goes in when I am cycling. So in here goes my mobile phone, this is where my mobile phone is just about tight fit with the mobile cover and uh, here I have uh, the chubbies, the keys for my lock, the bicycle lock. I'll just put it in here and you can throw in maybe some chewing gums or small stuff, really small stuff. It's a nice uh, little touch. You have a headphone, headphone out, you can listen to music in case you want to. 
that riding a bicycle on Indian roads and listening to music is not something which I would recommend because in India, uh, bicycles are not recognized in India. So, we are at the mercy of everyone else on the road. So, we have to take care of our own safety. Yeah, that's pretty much any further questions you have. You can drop it in the comments. You can ask me on Instagram. I am not like those YouTubers uh, which do not respond to their messages. Be it on YouTube, be it on Instagram, I try to respond to them all. Until and unless they are very hate comments, uh, very abusive comments, and uh, hate comments and all that. And uh, one very important tip, when you are riding your bike, your cycle I mean, do not use your mask like this. If you are using your goggles, it will fog it up. And uh, this will also obstruct your breath. It will also obstruct your breath. So always, I mean, you can do it if it's too polluting. You can just do it for some time and then just slide it down and just make sure that your mouth is covered so that you don't eat up dust, especially when you're in India.